Hello, hello, I'm Bella and welcome to Bella Star Reading. Today I am doing a channel message on Ostara to see what the, is going on for the collective. And today I'm using my avatar because there's just a lot of energies going on and it's just a way to protect myself. So here we go. We will be looking in and checking in what the overall energy is. And I will also be offering an extended reading of how to deal with these energies over on Patreon. So if you'd like to check that out and see how to handle your energies during this time, go over to Patreon and become a lovely star and help support me and my channel and my work and also just have some extra fun content. And of course, those videos will be up for a limited time, so just be aware of that. So go check that out if you are interested. All right, so the energy coming through very strongly, I am feeling the triple goddess. And that could be any triple goddess of any pantheon that you might be interested or aligned with. But since I've been using the Celtic deck today, I had uh, the Morrigan has come through. So I believe she is a Irish triple war goddess. Yeah, very powerful, very courageous, a lot of strength, very mystical. Someone who does not take shit. <laughs> That's the energy. It's like, you do not mess with the Morrigan. Very wise intuitive especially in cycles with the cycles of the moon because i know with the eclipse season coming up is just very strong very powerful because the full moon is going to be in aries so yeah just just a lot lots of strong energy coming through and then of course with the triple goddess we got the maiden with innocence love past the mother with Gwyneth, nature, uh, nurture and presence, and the crone with the fairy godmother. Yeah, so just be aware of those. But yes, with Ostara, there's a strong sense of, oh, with the hair here, we have otherworld shape-shifting fertility. So it's a lot of changes to shift our reality and it's a matter of working i see this as the consciousness and then the subconscious so it's a matter of finding that balance and working together with both to and working with the moon to create our reality but i feel because of this strong power a lot of shifts are going to be happening internally as well as externally and they're going to be swift so you could be experiencing a lot of tower moments in some ways so it's a matter of just observing these occurrences and not reacting to them it's just going with the flow because i kind of had an image of like it could feel like a war zone kind of thing like energy like just a lot a bombardment is happening but you have to be like a monk just calmly walking through and using your intuition to avoid those bombs or those pitfalls or whatever so it's just yeah just navigating peacefully through the war zone just go with the flow that is what's coming through. So I'll leave this off to the side here. So what message do you have for today? What message do you have? We have the air, unseen potential, hesitation, the catalyst, radical change, taking control. Yes, yes what is occurring the herald the rabbit came through again small regrets longing also the moon there 
And Ostara is linked with Easter. So that's uh, the Easter rabbit stems from Ostara, the pagan holiday. I forgot the exact story with the rabbit. So what else do we need to know? Or what we're dealing with here? The guide with inheritance and correction. Uh, just that one. Okay. And then we have the diviner. Divine timing evaluation. Kind of reminds me of this card that came out for me today, too. It's the Oracle. Uh, sacred Living Spirit Speaking Intervention. So, yeah, it's just a call for those who are intuitive and connecting to spirit. Do rituals to connect to spirit, to foster those connections, to be able to be the channeler and to speak truth. So I feel like that's with the guide here. Uh, let me do this. All right. Yeah, because it feels like a lot of us aren't living up to our full potential. Like there's still blocks holding us back. So a lot of these tower moments, a lot of changes are occurring, especially right now, internally, mostly. And then once the internal changes, then it, the external will change. So I feel like there's still a lot of toxic toxicity. Like these are the toxic people. And I got the image that these snakes are trying to wrap around the rabbit when the rabbit is meant to be free and just run wherever it needs to go. These are dealing with ancestors, the ancestors. It's rising up to be a guide for others. Yeah, to be the diviner, to be the oracle. Put your crown on your head. Acknowledge that you are someone important. Know your worth. Know that your potential is limitless. It could help with the catalyst here using crystals. Use certain crystals to help ease through these changes or to help stimulate you. See paper here as well. So journal. Journaling always helps during any kind of profound changes, helps give you clarity of insight. It's like you're planting the seeds. It's the time to plant the seeds. It's like they've already been planted and you're kind of already seeing the sprouts here. But you don't want to, you just want to observe the sprout growing. You don't want to control how it grows. Just Give it the nurturing that it needs to grow. And that's for any creative idea that may come through. All right, so what does tarot have to say? What messages do you have with the tarot? Oh. Yeah, just that strength coming through, that power. Time to go into more of a hermit phase right now. What messages do you have? Four of Cups. 
What messages do you have? Got eight of swords and six of wands. On the back, two of swords. All right. And just more of those ravens using the intuition. Yeah, the raven is coming in through very strongly. So be aware if you are seeing ravens or crows or blackbirds. It might be a sign that you're on the right track. But yeah, there's just a lot of internal strength coming through. So it says it's time to meditate and contemplate, take time to yourself, kind of seclude yourself to gain that inner wisdom. So I feel like this is worries and concerns of the external coming through. So this is what we're gaining insight in because it feels like there's a sense of being trapped in a situation here. But there's going to be a victory. Once we have this insight, this epiphany, there's going to be a victory in how we go forward. Because then we're putting trust in the universe more to guide us along our journey, our path. Yes. Yeah, that's what I feel. It's just putting trust and faith in our intuition that we are being guided in the right direction. That we do have the strength. We have that limitless potential. We might not know where we're going because we got the blindfolds here. We not, might be able to see fully where we're going, but we trust that we are being led in the right direction. So I'm feeling this sense, and this is from personal experience too, it's getting over the trigger or the programming that, especially here in the States, there's this constant need for output, for production, in order to receive success. So it's a matter of reprogramming that and knowing that it's okay to rest even if it's you need to take longer time to rest sometimes people need to be secluded for a longer periods than, of time than others to be able to receive those spiritual insights and then when you feel secure in yourself when you feel stable then you could put the output I feel like, again, that's something with the ancestral line. That specific programming. That if you don't see swift results, then it's a failure. But it's not. It just takes its time. It's kind of like a fear. A fear to see that sadness and that could be the sadness that I'm feeling here as well and that sense of feeling trapped that programming is what's holding us back is that it's okay to rest and have faith and spirit that even if you're resting even if you're not output 
doing a lot of output, you're still on the right track. You're so you're kind of being kind to yourself in that way is that even if you're taking a long time to rest and seclude yourself, have faith that that is what's meant to happen. Know that you are on track, that you are hitting that bullseye. I think that's all the message I'm receiving for this, for today. So as I said, give a like, subscribe, share, comment to help this channel grow. And if you want to see the extended in how to handle these energies or any other further messages, go over and subscribe to Patreon and see that limited content. All right, take care, everyone. Bye-bye and happy Ostara.